Hi all and welcome to another video. Today we'll be going through the stages that you need to go through to install the Ares Wizard onto Kodi 17.1. I must say as well that I'm not affiliated with anything to do with Kodi or the Ares product project. I'll be just taking you through the step by step process. First we need to click on the settings cog in at the top left hand side and then across to system settings then down to add-ons and then unknown sources we need to make sure that's ticked on so that we can add this third party add-on it's the same with any third party add-ons you'd need to make sure this was clicked yes first and then we're back ready to go you need to press back or escape and to go to file manager then to add source and then where it says none we click on that and you need to put this URL in um, I'll put it in the description as well so that you can see it um, after I've done it or you can pause the video it's http colon forward slash forward slash reaper dot aries dash project dot com forward slash magic you need to make sure you put it in exactly as you can see if not it won't work and once you've done that we just press ok or enter and then where it says magic at the bottom you can name this whatever you like I'm just going to name it, name it Ares with a, with a full stop in front and um, just so it goes to the top of the list and then you press ok and now we need to press a back or escape and back or escape again then we go down to add-ons and enter then we need to go to the box open in the top left hand corner and this will take you to this screen and we just need to click on install from zip file and then we click on whatever you've named as or as you can see I named it as Ares then we click on repository.aries project and then repository.aries project.zip then in the top right hand corner you'll see Ares project installed then we go up to install from repository then we click on Ares project then down to program add-ons then Ares Wizard and then install. Once it's installed, you'll see it says Ares Wizard installed in the top right corner, and then we click on it again. This time we'll go to open on the left hand side and click or enter. This will install the Ares Wizard, it takes a few minutes, um, sometimes faster, sometimes not. Then we get a pop up here um, which is, comes up as default even though Kodi 17.1 is stable now. Then we get the Ares Wizard home screen and as you can see we've got browse builds, browse add-ons, maintenance, backup, tweaks, more and settings. If you'd like to download a build from the Ares Wizard we would just click on browse build. As always, if you like my videos, um, please like and subscribe and leave comments as well if you want me to do any videos on any future products or anything, um, and I'll see what I can do. And then this has got the list of the builds. We've got the Ares build, Pulse, TV Guru, Ryan's Cody, Wizard build. And then if we go to browse add-ons, we've got the repositories which you can install straight from here, like TV add-ons. Mighty Duck, uh, Mucky Duck Reaper, Hello Pod God, uh, um, Shani's add on. These are all third party add ons which are just I'd install straight away from clicking on there. Then we've got maintenance where you can clear thumbnails, packages, cache. Um, it's it's advised that we you clear these quite regular um, if your box is running slow. Then we've got backup. This is used if you make your own build um, with your own backgrounds um, and add ons that you want. And then in more, you've got things like, like your internet speed test, and um, you can erase all fresh start in here as well, and force close Kodi, which you tend to have to do um, once you've installed a build. 